In 1670, Louis XIV ordered and financed the construction of a home for sick, wounded and elderly soldiers. This architectural complex is located near the River Seine in the Grenelle Plain. Behind a façade nearly 200 metres long, the buildings are organised symmetrically around a centre line perpendicular to the Seine. Each side of the courtyard contained refectories. The dormitories were inside the buildings which form the square courtyards. At the time there was also a convent, a workshop manufacturing uniforms and even a printing press. It could house 1,500 residents. Two churches were built there, the chapel for the exclusive use of the royal family known as the Dôme des Invalides, inaugurated by Louis XIV in 1706, and the Cathedral of Saint-Louis des Invalides for the veterans. During the revolution, rioters seized cannons and muskets to attack the Bastille. The Dôme des Invalides became the temple of the god Mars. A masterpiece of Baroque architecture, 110 metres high, the dome was the highest landmark in Paris before the construction of the Eiffel Tower. Since 1861, it's housed the tomb of Napoleon Bonaparte and other famous soldiers. During World War II, the Nazis moved the German army into Les Invalides. In spite of this, a family of resistance fighters working there managed to hide Allied pilots over a period of three years. Today, the complex is home to three museums. The Army Museum, the Order of Liberation Museum, and the Museum of Relief Maps. The Institution Nationale des Invalides, a medical and surgery centre, now cares for victims of major attacks as well as disabled veterans. Les Invalides is also a symbolic place. In the Cour d'Honneur, 102 metres long and 64 metres wide, situated in the heart of the complex, France traditionally decorates its military heroes and great figures of state.